Let's see how many shrimp we can find in this shrimp tank. It's overgrown and it needs a trim. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian with AquaticSupportSystems.com and Brian's Fish Tanks. And we're uh, checking out this sh uh, shrimp tank here today. It's a black pinto tank that as you can see is super overgrown. Thought I would go ahead and uh, do a trim on it and we can see how many shrimp are actually in there. Um, as you know, when shrimp tanks get way overgrown, you know, the shrimp tend, tend to hide in the uh, cover and you don't see them as much as uh, you'd like to. So I'm guessing there's um, possibly up to 100 shrimp in this tank. I don't know for sure, but we'll, uh, we'll check it out and uh, trim it down and see what we can find. So stay tuned. I'll take you through the process and then we'll uh, show you at the end what it looks like and how many shrimp we see walking around. So we'll start with taking the water out of the tank. As you can see, this tank already had a little bit of water missing because of evaporation and that type of stuff. But I just went through and took out some more. And when I do that, I like to suck out with the siphon um, duckweed and things like that. All right, so as you can see, we got the water out of this tank. And um, we're going to get in there and just start hacking things up. I've got uh, my pin sets and pair of aquascaping scissors, but I'll probably, to be honest with you, just be doing a lot of uh, picking and pinching of plants with my hands. So let's get in there and uh, mow the lawn, as they say. Now after chopping everything up in there, we're going to go ahead and fill the tank back up. Alright, so as you can see, I really mowed the lawn in this tank. Basically what I left in here was one clump of Savoir tang and a couple of clumps of mini Pellia. There was some really massive clumps of mini Pellia in here. Unfortunately, they do have other mosses mixed in with them, so it's not something that I could uh, turn around and resell. So this tank is, for now, just gonna kind of stay a tank that has mox different mosses and plants that have intertwined with each other, and uh, it won't be a good tank for um, growing out plants to sell, uh, which I try to do in some of these tanks just to help, uh, you know, um, feed the feed the cost of the hobby. Also, as you can see right now, um, there are a ton more shrimp um, that are visible now that there is not nearly as much cover, and they're also just going crazy grazing around because things have been stirred up, and there's probably all sorts of microbacteria uh, exposed and stuff like that. But I'll do a. Um, uh, another clip tomorrow probably once this tank is cleared up that'll uh, give you a better idea um, I'll, I'll throw in a, a piece of food and uh, let all the shrimp congregate around it to give you a better idea how many shrimp are actually in this tank just to give you an idea this is all subwasser tang that uh, came out of here but unfortunately it is mixed in with mini pellia and java moss and some other things but I mean these are big big chunks so kind of hate to see them go to waste so maybe I'll uh, locally uh, put them up 
up in one of the Facebook groups and see if anybody wants to come get it. I, I don't know yet, but that's a 15 gallon tank that that's sitting on. As you can see, it pretty much takes up the whole, and I'm sure the whole top, I'm sure there's probably give or take a few shrimp that didn't make it out of there, but unfortunately you can't really just start picking through everything, um, you know. Um, so I'm sure there's a few that uh, unfortunately will go. <laughs> go wherever this goes and then I've also got this bucket full down here of more stuff that I had been netting out and other scraps so this tank was way overgrown and some of the neighboring tanks are as well so I'll be hacking at those next there are a ton of shrimp that are exposed I haven't gotten a real good idea or count on them yet but um, we'll go ahead and do that at some point and uh, let you know and we'll go from there. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, make sure that you uh, do subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If you're new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe and hit that uh, uh, notification bell right next to it so that you're notified every time I do put up a video where I share content about my shrimp tanks, my cichlid tanks, and my reef tanks. So appreciate everybody that watches. Make sure you go to aquaticsupportsystems.com where you can buy shrimp food, we sell Shrimp King, MK Breed, Low Keys, uh, Fluval Bug Bites, um, and Salty Shrimp Remineralizer, all sorts of good stuff. So uh, make sure you uh, check that out as well. Thanks for watching. A little bit of a bonus clip for you here. Uh, just uh, wanted to do a time lapse video. Uh, this is the next morning. I put in a piece of Shrimp King complete and uh, just decided to uh, feed the shrimp and let you guys see how many that there were in the tank. And, um, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I estimated about 100 total, um, but I didn't really go through and count them. So enjoy the time lapse, and again, thanks for watching.